Hi, I'm Raphael and I will give you a short overview about the Windows Bridge for iOS, also known as Project Islandwood, which was recently released as an early preview by Microsoft on GitHub for developers to have a short overview on what will happen to the Windows Bridges for iOS and Android. The Windows Bridge for iOS, for those who haven't seen it before, was announced at Build this year and it will enable you to compile your Objective-C iOS apps in Visual Studio and run them on Windows and later also on Windows Phone uh, so you can publish them on the store. The project uh, is found on GitHub uh, so you can, here you can browse uh, big parts of the source code. There's also a wiki which describes how to work with the SDK. So, let's jump into the SDK. Uh, in the wiki we find the link to the SDK which is already built. If you want to build the SDK yourself, just follow the steps which are shown here in the wiki. But I will go and download the SDK. Okay, once you extracted the archive, just go into the folder. And so, you have some folders here. And I will quickly show you the most important two, which is the bin folder. Here you will find the tools which help you to port an existing iOS project to Islandwood. Uh, and also the Objective-C syntax highlighting Visual Studio extension. You can install this and then you have Objective-C code highlighting in Visual Studio, which may makes it <laughs> ways better to read. There's a minor bug currently so that this extension can't install to Visual Studio 2015 but you should see a link to a video right here uh, where I explain how to tweak it so that you can also use it in Visual 2015. So let's go to the samples folder where you will find two quick examples on the project Island Wood. We go to this catalog example and open the Windows Store 10 solution. This opens up Visual Studio. In this case, it's running Visual Studio 2015. And this project has already been ported from iOS to Windows 10 Universal with the project Island Woods. Hit OK. And the project opens. And in this project, we have a few examples of different controls. Um, from iOS running on Windows. It's pretty cool. Once the project is loaded, you have the folder of the project in the Solution Explorer. You just have to right click on the Universal Windows application and set them as startup project. Once you've done this, you can simply hit start and run this on a local machine. Hit yes to compile everything. And yeah, no, the project Islandwood does its magic and uh, the app is built in the background. And hopefully we will see an awesome result. So in the output we can see until now everything has worked perfectly. And yeah, let's see if the app comes up. And there it is, now it should come up. After a few seconds building, here we have the Windows 10 application with the generic application icon. And uh, let's see how it looks like. You can already see it's really a normal Windows 10 application. And there it is. Uh, we first have a list here which looks kind of like iOS. And yeah, let's see what's included. In this example, there are a few UI controls, like here the UI switch or the UI slider, and most of them are yeah, look like the iOS controls. Uh, so this is pretty awesome that this works so well. So here we have the simple button, and we have XAML controls as well. So you can extend your project island boards iOS application with Windows specific controls. So you can have all these awesome nice XAML controls. Even here you can change the display mode. So let's pretend we're a 
phone, so works very, very well. And yeah, you can simply have a quick look on what's inside this project. What's uh, very nice is that the graphic support is also included. And uh, another thing which uh, yeah, I really like is that you see the animations which are also supported, like here in the collection view with the photos and so on. So yeah, you can simply play around with, with this a bit and see what's inside. And maybe if you have an own iOS application, try to port it. It might happen that it won't work directly because there are some points, you can see it here in the wiki at the end, which are currently in pro the entire thing is work in progress, but there are a few things which aren't very ready to use, like the auto layout. Uh, I experienced some troubles with the zip files, and what also might happen is that uh, even if you try to load the sample application and that it won't work, that might be uh, because of the path. So if you just put the sample in some path on your C drive uh, without any spaces and crazy signs in the path, uh, then it should work. Yeah, just try it out and look a bit what's inside and how the tooling looks like. You can just edit it and add some parts, try how it works. And yeah, as I told in the next video, I will try to port an iOS project using the Islandwood tooling. And uh, if you haven't done this yet, if you already want to enable the syntax highlighting, just click on the video in the link of the description. And yeah, try it out and hopefully you have fun with the Windows Bridge for iOS. Cheers and see you next time.